I've made one video before about my kitchen gear, all of the stuff that I use to cook with and prepare food with, and uh, I'll put a link to that in the description. That's the gear that I use for a long trip, like a month-long trip. Uh, I want more options with me so I can, uh, so I'm not eating the same thing every day for a month. It fits into a, a good size, you know, quite, quite big plastic container. Um, but I don't always go on month-long trips, and uh, so I want to show you the, the food and cooking gear I use on my shorter trips. Right now I'm on a five-day trip in, uh, in southern Utah, and I've been using a much smaller bin full of kitchen gear, and let me show that to you now. So here is the bin in question right here. This contains all of my kitchen supplies. Let's pull it out and we'll take a look. Now let me say here that I am not a professional chef. I don't really even like cooking, but it's something that uh, you need to do on the road to some extent. And so if you're a really hardcore chef, or if you really like to cook, then, uh, then this setup isn't for you. But if you want to do just enough to get by, I think this can work for you. So here's what we have. Open it up. There's a plate, plastic plate. I'll bring two if my wife is coming on a trip with me. We've got this little tiny, tiny little frying pan. I use this to make breakfast sandwiches. It's enough for an egg or to toast an English muffin. I'm sure there are other things you could do with it too. This is a little roll I made that contains three different compartments for disposable ni knives, forks, and spoons. We've got two fuel canisters, which means that we must have a stove in here, and yes, we do. It is in here. This is a um, little, like, it's probably less than a liter. Let me see. Yeah, 591 milliliters here. So it's probably 700 milliliters, 750, something like that. Less than a liter. It's a stainless steel little pot from Walmart. And I'll put a link to all of these things in the description so you can, uh, can find them. It's got a lid. Inside, I keep the stove. And it also holds two little insulated mugs that nest nicely. Nice little pot. The stove just attaches on to the top of one of these fuel canisters. I always try to have at least two fuel canisters because running out of fuel when you need it or want it is not enjoyable. This little silicone collapsing, this is hard to do one-handed, little collapsing bowl, and it collapses to be flat. A lighter, a little torch lighter. I use this to light my stove because the little built-in electric ignition system doesn't work very well. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but uh, for the times when it doesn't, I like to have a lighter of some kind in here. This is a folding windscreen, collapsible windscreen for the stove. Little salt and pepper shaker, salt on one side, pepper on the other side. And then this bag that has all the utensils in it. There are probably Four knives, some serrated, some not. Potato peeler, spatula, metal utensils. Little pot scraper, that's what that purple thing is. I think that's about it in there. And so that's everything. That's, uh, that's all you need, really, at least all I need the type of cooking that I like to do, which is not very much. Pretty simple, pretty cheap, nothing too fancy in there, but it, it all gets the job done. Hope you found that helpful. Let me know what you think. Let me know what things uh, you would take out or add. And uh, thanks for watching.